Well, Mark, Maidenhead, Saturday, a big game for us and a chance to push ourselves higher up the table. Yeah, the next game's always the biggest, and I say the same things to you every week, Henry, but uh, yeah, it's the way we work. Um, and uh, look, we had, we had a, a great weekend, um, good start to the year, and it's something we want to be building on. So the lads have had a good week's training again, um, a lot of smiley faces around, and uh, we, want to, we really want to kick on. We want to keep improving and getting better. As you touched on it as well, starting the year with a great win against Woking, but it's important that we don't sit on that now we look to build on that and keep on improving week by week yeah that game's done finished you know forgotten now so we're uh, fully focused on the on the next game yes we will we've reflected on it we've looked to, for areas we can improve on and we've also looked at some positives that we want to continue to grow as well so it, look we're we're ever evolving we've got to keep wanting to get better and uh and then looking, looking forward to this, this next game, which will be a really, really tough game. I mean, Alan Devonshire, one of the most experienced managers around, his main the team are a real mainstay in this league, always uh, have, a, have a threat, have a way of playing, and uh, we're going to have to be at our absolute best. And of course, players continue to come back from injury and look to think about how a player is doing in terms of their recovery. Yeah, a lot more numbers on the training field this week, which is great to see. Um, some picking up. Their, their rehabilitation now, um, you know, a couple close to joining us very soon now, a couple not far behind as well. So things are starting to move and, and, and improve, which is, which is great. And um, like I said, we're, we're running out of space on the training pitch now, which is always a good thing. As we've entered January, comings and goings are bound to happen. Obviously, Harrison's come in and a few people have left and we wish them well. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, Scott Wagstaff. Um, has been here since uh, you know quite early on since I, since I joined and he's been been fantastic around the place. He's a, a great pro, um, a good player, but more importantly a, a great person as well. And uh, we've really enjoyed having him around the group. He's been a great influence, um, you know, off the pitch as well as on the pitch. Um, and, um, um, and he goes and we, and we wish him well. Um, he's got, he's gone Saint, which is a bit more convenient for him, closer to home. Um, so uh, look, we we wish him well, and uh, Corey Andrews as well has been recalled by his parent club Wimbledon. He's um, come in and done done very well for us. Again, we've enjo really enjoyed working with him, and I, I'm sure he's gained a lot out of his experience with us. And um, hopefully, he'll use that further on in it to to further his career. And uh, well, well, and obviously. You know that's two going out, but the most important thing is, is for us, is is, is securing the signing of, 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 of Harrison. Um, great to have him back. He's a well-respected member of the of the group previously. I've had nothing but great reports from the from the staff from him, physically, mentally, tactically. So um, you know he's 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 trained really well this week, and he's been a real welcome addition to the group and um, someone who I'm very much looking forward to working with. And of course, finished last season as a club's top goal scorer. No doubt he'll be looking to achieve that with a half season to go and also Laurie Walker as well moved on to Stephen Edgewin. you know we wish him all the best as well yeah that's an, another one Laurie's obviously come in done very well has been a, a big part of our uh, good form of late and it just shows that you know he's come in done very well and secured a move to a, to a League 2 club um, you know Corey's gone back into a League 1 club so uh, it shows um, that this this league and our club is a, is a good place to grow and improve, and um, we've got to continue to be be that place. Yes, we want to hold on to our our best players, but we've also got to know where we are in the food chain. And um, we've been very lucky to be trusted with those players. And uh, I like to think that it's been a, a good a good agreement, and and both parties have benefited. And uh, we've now got to, we've got to move on quickly now, and um, look forward to the next challenge. And the, and the players who get the shirt, they've got to pick up the baton and and and, and run hard with it. That was my next point. Obviously, the players who have moved on, we wish them well, but the players who now come in, it's a chance for them to step up and prove their worth in this guide. Yeah, definitely. And I said this is the club of opportunity. There's always been opportunities for our youngsters and players coming in on loan. And, uh, you know, everyone, we train the same with everyone. So anyone who takes that shirt should be well prepared and ready to uh, give, give their best. And um, I think we've certainly seen that. We've seen this squad fully utilised since I've been here, that is for sure. And every time we look like we're stretched to the absolute maximum and, and we're on our knees, this, this, this group galvanises, stands up and, and comes out running and fighting. And we've got to continue to show that attitude and that mentality. And we've got to continue to keep growing our players and growing our assets. I think that will show, you know, looking at last week's game, obviously 2-1 down, 10 minutes to go, we go and score two late goals. 
you know, made a massive difference and everyone was rejuvenated from it. Yeah, definitely. And I think you can see the mentality of the group to uh, what they showed in that game, the characteristics, um, I think, it w were great and were very evident. But also the togetherness of the group after the game, you could see everyone enjoying the win, but also everyone together. And that's, the, you know, the players injured, the subs, the staff, everyone. We're a, we're a tight-knit group, we're a together group, and we're, we're a group who are always eager to improve. Um, but we're also humble and uh, we, we just we just want to get better and we want to keep working hard for each other. Because, of course, this is our first home game of 2022. It's important we look to kick on and make this home a fortress for the rest of the season. Yeah, for sure. You know, the, the, the home support is huge. Um, you could see that away. Travelling support as well. We want to be travelling with, with numbers. We want to be getting the numbers up at home and we've got to give them something to cheer. We've got to get some, give them something to get behind. And I think they can see that at the moment, that everyone's given everything for the shirt. And, um, you know, long may that continue. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.